Hello and welcome to another Modern Toy Fair review. Today I'm taking a look at the Marvel Legends Ultron from the Cassie Lang Build-A-Figure Wave. As always, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts and feelings are, if you've picked this up or if you're still on the fence. And of course, make sure to stick around to the end of the video to see all the photos I took. But that's enough chair chatter, let's go ahead and get at her. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to take a look first at the thing that is most different about the this versus the original release, and that is the head sculpt. So you see, got like the metal, like almost like flat top mohawk going all the way to the back. It's kind of got that raised edge. Got the red eyes that are sunken in, and it's actually like a separate piece in there. You got the mouth with the Kirby crackle painted in. You got the antennas on the side of the ears there, and then from there. Got those rings around the neck. You've got the spikes going across his like shoulders. Got some sculpted in lines for like his like collarbone area. We've got this weird like crack in the mold, which is different from figure to figure. I've discovered because I have a couple of these. Spoiler alert. And then on the shoulders, you've got the shoulder pads. You've got going down to the waist where the cut is. A little bit of like a band. You've got the like slight abs. Another band at the bottom part of the waist going to his like pelvis and then the arms have those kind of like pleated look to them where they've got like the lines going across like a very much iron man-esque sculpt goes down both sides and then he does have gauntlets that look very much like iron man going down there got the knuckles that each have like little bolts on them which is kind of nice really like that touch even on like the thumb knuckle there so they didn't miss any of them there's the fingers, and then we get to the legs, and where the thigh cut is, you got a little bit of molding. Same with like where the knees are, you've got this like little band. And going down to the ankles, got some lines to kind of break it up where the ankle pivot, or not ankle pivot, the ankle cut is. And then toes also have more of those kind of pleated lines as well. And then the bottom of the feet, let me see if I can get it to focus here, there we go have all sorts of sculpt on it like plating and almost like little like jets so that's a really cool little addition and then the back of the head even has like a little bit more detail to it and then more of the same line work on the back that we had on the front of the torso going down the booty which ultron for a robot is packing look at that thing jesus and we go down more and you also notice this is a different like the molded plastic is different than the painted silver that we had before, which is kind of interesting to me. Right, on to some articulation. So he does have the ball hinge at the top, so he spin all the way around, a little bit of tilt side to side. Tons of up, oop, head popped off, let me pop that back on here, there we go. So tons of up, tons of down, then back up. And then the arms do have the separate shoulder piece that rotates with it. So when you swing them around, it goes with it. You've got about nine degrees out. You've got the bicep swivel. And then you have double jointed elbows that go to there. And then wrist peg goes forward like so. And backwards. And then, of course, spins all the way around. Get that arm out of the way. You do have a cut here at the top of the torso, which unfortunately does not get a lot of forward and back motion. There's some back. There's some forward. Yeah, not very far, but you'd get tons of like twisting both at the top and bottom of the torso. And then legs go out a little bit under 90, about 90 forward, not very far back. Got the thigh cut there, double jointed knees go to there. And then you have the boot cut and the front facing rocker for the ankle pivot. So forward, back, and all that fun stuff. And you can realistically get him into just about any pose I could imagine Ultron being in. Like, again, the only real problem is the torso articulation hinders it, but beyond that, it's not bad. Next up, we have some accessories, which he comes with a little more than we usually get. So you have this left hand, like, repulsor, kind of flat claw hand. And then we do have a set of these gripping hands for, like, weapons and stuff, which is a little odd for Ultron, but, oh well, came with the old release, too. And then we have the Kirby Crackle. This time, instead of being yellow and orange, it is red and black. Got that great translucent, like, bubbly effect with like, the black paint on the front, and then it's a little bit darker red on the back. And you'll notice at the beginning, I had the Kirby Crackle in his mouth, and to do that, I had to heat up the head, 
And I took this X-Acto knife and I just slowly carved out the red part. But now you'll see if you don't have the Kirby Crackle in it, you just see the hinge back there and it just looks kind of wonky. It almost looks like he has like red gums and a silver throat. But it definitely makes it a little easier. You do have to like force it in a little bit because his mouth isn't quite as wide as the original version. So if you just mess with it a little bit, and if you heat it up, you can move the jaw around a little easier too. But then you can get the crackle in, and it looks great. Okay, time for a quick size comparison. So here Ultron is with the Mafex Classic Spider-Man. You'll see he is significantly taller, almost a head taller. And then we have the J.I. Toys Street Fighter Ryu, who is also a little bit shorter than Ultron, which I'm here for. I feel like Ultron should be a little bit taller, a little more intimidating. Even with the Valorverse uh, Steel Brigade Night Ops figure, he is a smidgen, like half a head taller, which I, I, I do like that. I feel like he should be imposing. And then we have Marvel Legends John Favreau and the G.I. Joe Classified Pimp Daddy Destro. Can stand there. There we go. John Favreau, about up to mouth to nose region. And then same with Pimp Daddy Destro, maybe a little bit taller than that. And last up, we have the big, beefy boy, the Marvel Legends build a figure armadillo. And he's actually up to, like, shoulder level, which I don't think I've had a figure be that tall for him yet. And last up, we have the box art, which, of course, plasticless packaging. So art in the back, digital render, logos, a list of all the other figures on the side, more artwork on that side, logos on top, all the plastic-free nonsense on the bottom. Got digital renders of the accessories and the figure and everything it comes with, all legal stuff. Yeah, so glad these are going away. Okay, so overall, it's not bad. I, I honestly, like, it's the same figure we got before, but a different head. And while I like the fact that out of the box, the original allowed you to put the Kirby Crackle effect into the mouth, I like this head better just from a visual standpoint, like the aesthetic of it. I think this one looks more Ultron, look just looks more sleek. I like it better uh, from what I think of when I think of Ultron, but I do wish they would have made it so you could put the, the crackle effect in his mouth from the get-go. Like I get they painted the red to have the little black specks in it to give you the same effect, but why give us the effect piece for him to just casually hold it? It just seems kind of silly to me. So that would be my one kind of critique over it, which is kind of funny considering that's the one thing they changed on this figure. But, uh, oh, that true. they also did change the, I guess, the color, because before I think it was just flat silver, where this time it's got that, like, weird, plastic, metallic-y look to it. That, I don't know. That, I'm kind of on the fence of, because I like the shine of the new one, but I almost prefer the silver paint, just because it doesn't, doesn't have, like, that weird crack that I, like, showed you in the chest or in the legs and stuff. But, I don't know. If, they, if we could get the old figure w with the same paint scheme with the new head but a hollowed out mouth i'd be all for it that'd be the perfect ultron <laughs> so uh maybe maybe they'll get it right next time but let me know in the comments below what you think if you were on the fence if this pushed you one way or the other of course stick around the end of the video if you want to see all the photos i took and if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like and subscribe helps us out gets you a tutorial like content in your feed including the reviews how to pose videos the weekly live stream and the weekly podcast and if you're already a fan of the channel and you'd like to help support us get over to patreon.com forward slash modern toy fair links in the description below a bunch of different tiers of different rewards if you check that out we greatly appreciate it that's gonna be it for this video hopefully see you next week same toy time same toy fair channel thanks for watching